tell us about coming out here and supporting a great cause. Well, I only found out about it today, but I feel really privileged and honored to be part of it because I think for such um, an amazing idea that has only just really come to light since 2007, five years to have raised $2.6 million. I know, it's insane. And helped 100,000 people already. I mean, I think I really like the fact as well they've set themselves such an amazing, but I mean, frightening target of helping a million people, the whole of Swaziland. But you kind of get the feeling with the momentum behind it, they could do it. Beautiful. Let's talk about uh, 40 Point Blank. 40 Point Plan. Well, that is actually, it's an independent movie. It's um, a film director who launches this movie on the uh, New Year's Eve of 2011. And it's about news reports, about how the world has changed. It's really about putting America back on its feet. And it's news reports from around the world saying the steps that have happened, these 40 points that America has taken and changed. And it's about sustainable growth. It's about recycling water in a better way. It's about building houses that have medical access and um, that are sustainable and it's about building uh, food in food towers rather than in the, in the land and it's really just about how the world could change and the main thing about it I think is most important is it's all about love and compassion and about the human spirit and helping each other. Right, wow, that's a really cool concept. Yeah, well I think as well rather than having to, I mean it does show you the idea so I mean I'm sure actually the oil companies won't like it because there's one of the ideas about using turbine for wheels so basically you have a battery to start the car but then the wheels themselves as they gather momentum to drive themselves, so you don't actually need oil or electricity or anything to power car. The tycoons are not going to like that! <laughs> <laughs> that is the only problem. There's going to be people going, no! But I think it has already got a distribution deal in China, of course, because they're very, they were thinking. Right. 10 year distribution deal there. Beautiful. And is there anything else that you're working on right now that we can be looking out for? Well, I'm, I've been involved with a few things in the UK. Um, there's a kind of comedy, I do a lot of comedy back in the UK, and there's a comedy horror called The Trap, which is basically um, some disenchanted um, unemployed youths and a crack team looking for the same Second World War treasure in this house. And it's very funny, it's very silly, and then it's also quite gruesome. And that, again, I think we'll have an August release date, so it's called The Trap. Well, you, you just seem to be super busy. <laughs> And, and that's awesome. Busy is always good in our books. We do like busy and we also like just being able to come to events like this where it feels like you can also give something back. There are people out there trying to make a difference in this world. Any plans for the summer? Anything exciting that you're looking out for? Well, actually, I'm going to New York for my friend's wedding. Nice. Getting married in Central Park. Wow. I know. How amazing, amazing is that? So that would be really nice. They've been together 18 years, so I think it was about time. It took them 18 years to get married. <laughs> You know you really love someone yeah. when you're together for 18 years. I just really hope in six months they're still together. That would right. be awful, wouldn't it? Well, you know what? I think in LA it's yeah. New York. New York's a little more. Uh, they they keep they stay longer a little bit there, a little longer. I think. <laughs> You have to still have your own life, and that's what I really admire about those two people is they still have their own lives, but they also have their life together. I think if you get too wrapped up in just one person, then you're going to become bored, aren't you? What's, how's your love life? Yeah, it's good. Um, you know, I'm happy with it now. You know, it's working well. Um, I think love lives are... As, it's always a negotiation. That's what I think about love lives. But, it's most, but you've got to compromise, right? Well, and the thing is you can't compromise too much because then otherwise you lose yourself and once you've lost yourself you hate yourself and then you don't want to be with them and blame them. So negotiate along the way and if you realize it, you, you don't want the same things, be kind to let each other find someone who does. You're, you're so politically correct. <laughs> You, you just you just made divorce seem so politically correct and, and, and nice and and no problems whatsoever. I don't think anybody's ever been able to do that, so I applaud you, you for that. that. All right, read it off for me. You're born on the day of? Uh, the day of the wanderer. All right, so your strength? My strengths are imaginative, free-spirited, and giving. I'm very giving. Very? So you would agree with all those? Oh, I'm terribly, terribly so. All right, what about the weaknesses? Nervous, unsettled, neurotic. Oh my God, all of those, definitely. <laughs> definitely, probably more of those. So yeah. it's, it's pretty bang on. Yeah. Here's your advice, actually. This is Look, Jim Henson was the same as me. I'm yeah. really impressed with that. I love Jim Henson. Really? Yeah, the Muppets are incredible. It's really cool. This book, he took 50, uh, the author took 50 people born on the same day for every year and realized what similarities they all had. So you're very similar to this guy right there, Jim. Me? Yeah, I do a lot of work with puppets. You like puppets? <laughs> I don't. I don't. I love the idea. You really do. Now you're just going back on it. <laughs> no one's going to judge you. 
I promise. <laughs> well, I've got the beard, but I shaved it off before I came. Oh, uh, nice. What do you use, like a Mark V? Yeah. Like the Chic? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that <laughs> Just nice. get it down close. <laughs> yeah. It's not looking bad, huh? Yeah, not bad. You took it down to the skin. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Thank I you. I like it. My name is Felicity Wren, and you're watching me on secretlanguage.tv.